But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own town and at his own home. And he did not do many miracles there because of their lack of faith, because they pushed him down to something that he wasn't. Well, I mean, that's how we started out, but he, they would not allow him to rise to this place of grandeur that he deserves, that he came to claim. They kept him low. Like to them, he was just Joseph, the carpenter's son. You know what I'm saying? Mary's son. Aren't his sisters with us? Aren't his brothers with us? They kept him low. To us, we're like, oh, Jesus, he, he was a good teacher. He was a kind man. He was a prophet. He was gentle. Like we, we classify him. He was a man that did walk. Yes, he was in history. Okay, yes, he was crucified. Yep, he did die. But a lot of us balk on the resurrection part because who can really raise from the dead? You know what I'm saying? And we keep him artificially pushed low. Why? Because it fits our narrative. Because it's what we wanted to do and keep him in such place. And guess what? Just like he couldn't do much then, he can't do much now if that's where we want to classify him. This is what it is. You want God to work in your life, yet you won't give Jesus prominence. You won't allow him to ascend. You won't allow him to climb to the throne of your heart. You want to keep it. You want to guard it. You want to be the one issuing the decrees and making the decisions because you think you know what's best. And isn't this just Jesus? Allocated in some corner of your heart, some corner of history, lived but dead. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we do. Like, that's a choice that we can rationally make. Because unless the Holy Spirit witnesses it to us and we believe that Holy Spirit, that's all that it is. You can study the Bible all you want, but if God does not inspire that reading, if you're just doing it because you want to have the knowledge of it and not the intimacy from it, you're going to understand that, yes, Jesus existed. He walked on this earth and yet never give him his sonship, never give him his divinity. Listen to me, Muslims do it all the time. They believe in Jesus. He's in their book. And yet he's just a prophet. He's just a teacher. He's just an example. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't no son. They do not allow him to rise any greater than that of a teacher or prophet. That's it. But I can't even pick on them because how many of us do the same thing? Oh, we may not worship Allah or some other God of our choosing. And yet we allocate him the same way because we do not give him prominence. We don't give him the throne. We don't allow him to ascend. See what I'm talking about? You can't pick on one and like neglect the others because we all have to make this choice. Every one of us. There was a time in my life I did the very same thing. Oh, I didn't worship who they worship, but I promise you, I was not worshiping the God of creation. Like I knew about him, but I didn't know him. So I can't judge no man. Why? Because he had not ascended yet. But when he did, baby, there was no looking back. I was not going back to the man I was. He changed a boy to a man forever. And he began, he began to gain prominence in my heart and because my heart started changing my life started changing because my life started changing people started seeing something a little bit different about us we couldn't do what we used to do no more we couldn't talk how we used to talk go where we used to go or be who we used to be why because that's not who we were no more there was a new king on this throne he had ascended and he had remained and that's what he's trying to get us to that we allow him his place because that's what he died Yes, he died for your forgiveness. Yes, he died to bring you salvation. But he also died for his lordship. That he would be not just king of kings, but your king. Not just lord of lords, but your lord. Not just a savior, but your savior. You see what I'm talking about?